Well, welcome to the channel, as they say. I wanted you guys to see uh, and hear my thoughts on this 2022 Street Fighter V4S. I've had this bike approximately one year, and uh, I'm finally very familiar with it. I also have the Ducati Panigale of E4S, which is a 23 model versus the 22 here. And I wanted to talk to you about some of the differences between these two models. I know there's uh, the British guys that had made a uh, video about the Street Fighter or the V4 or the Panigale. And uh, that's really what I wanted to cover here in the United States. So uh, who's this bike really for? I'm 65 years old. I'm retired. I get to basically ride motorcycles whatever I want to do every day. So it's, it's kind of nice, but you know, my opinion might be different than, than some of the younger guys out there. It's not the kind of bike I would want to ride in traffic. Let's get that out there right away. So if you live in a city, I don't really think that, you know, with a lot of traffic and stuff, the bike puts out heat, not unbearable, like the Panigale does. The Panigale is completely useless if you live in the city. This bike is meant to escape the city and get on some beautiful country roads. And this thing shines on those conditions. You know, you're not sitting in the race position. Your feet aren't all folded up. So it's much more comfortable. The brakes are identical. The big difference is, and just ignore all the carbon fiber bits on this thing that I put on it. it you know, I just did it for looks. The uh, piece here that I wanted to talk about, that is uh, an aftermarket part. You know, you got to be careful of these aftermarket parts because they don't include the heat shield inner lining that's on the stock product. And you got to take it off the stock product, or you should take it off the stock product and put it on this thing because the heat can really get to you. Now, this bike is kind of really special because it doesn't have the heat problems that the Panigale does. The Street Fighter, I mean, it could be because obviously it's all open over here, but there's no tremendous amount of heat. I had complained that on this side of the motorcycle, right from here, I get a tremendous amount of heat, but that is not the case on this motorcycle. This motorcycle does not produce the heat that the uh, Panigale does. So kudos for the Street Fighter. You combine that with its more comfortable riding position. You know, it, yes, it doesn't have supposedly the power in first, second gear. It's limiting it a little bit. And we saw the 23 models came from the factory with an error in them. So guys weren't getting full power. This one doesn't have that problem. It's completely stock, but I'm telling you that it, it, the power is kind of unlimited on these things. It doesn't have uh, a lack of uh, performance at all. In fact, uh, you really got to be an experienced rider, in my opinion, to actually ride a bike like this, because I think this one has 208 horsepower. But, you know, what does that mean in practical terms? What it means is as this bike is passing 8,000 RPMs at 60 miles an hour, she's pulling the front wheel up the ground, and that's just in the basic sport mode. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. This thing is a beast, and you really need to be an experienced rider to ride it. It's a blast. It's a load of fun. It's more fun than a Panigale. I see why they built it now. I bought it, you know, a year ago, and uh, I was regretting it a little bit because I wanted the Panigale and I couldn't get one. So I told the guy to get me one anyway, and I waited a bit and got it. But now that I have them both, you know, if I had to sell one, I, this is not the one that I would be selling. I would probably sell the Panigale. I like this Street Fighter. That's my thoughts on it, and... uh Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.